The way I like to think about manufacturing that's enabled by digital um, and is to look at it through the lens of something like adding a new tool to your set. Ford would have if he could have. And that's referring to digital. Being an innovator or a manufacturer is a choice of the last hundred years. Being an innovator and a manufacturer is what the digital economy gives us today. If it can happen with the development of an open operating system that you're using real time, there's absolutely no reason why it can't happen in complex cyber mechanical devices. How do we make the future happen now? The reason why at Local Motors we started with the vehicle is because it's the biggest system of them all. It is the biggest, most connected system of them all. So if you can fix the complexity, it's like mass decompounding a rocket. And this is where digital comes in. The speed at which digital is transforming our environment is something that demands that we do the right thing with it. So the car's got to die. It's got to die. The system in which we bring it to market is not digital. So we got to kill the system in order for it to be reborn. And I think going back to the drawing board is, is one of those aphorisms that works. And there are two pieces that we've used to go back to the drawing board. One is pursuing an open strategy through co-creation. The other one is micromanufacturer. Ford would have if he could have. We live in a world that's defined by efficiencies that are made possible by a mass economy of scale. And that is what it's called. It's a mass economy of scale. Why am I talking about that in a world that's thinking about digital disruption? Because the opposite of a mass economy of scale is called an economy that's built by scope. It's an economy of scope. And what that means is on one side, if an economy of scale, you're putting a billion dollars down so that you can build a million units, that means that you've only put a thousand dollars into each unit. But on the other side, in an economy of scope, if I can only put a million dollars down instead of a billion to build something, and I make a thousand of those, it still only costs me a thousand dollars. A billion dollars in and a million units out, or a million dollars in and a thousand units out. They cost the same. The difference is you have to make a million on this side, and over here you only have to make a thousand. Some people only want to make a million of something. But the reason why you pursue lot sizes of a thousand is because it allows you to bring a new piece of technology in quickly. That's what micromanufacturing is about. Because the future is now. <laughs>